Well, the rain and snow many of us saw overnight and into this morning, well, it's still around for some of us, but it is on its way out. There is good news in our full forecast. Uh, right, Mike? We've got some uh, good news on the horizon. Yes. Yeah, warmer weather more typical of April is on the way after we get past tonight. But in the meantime, there's probably still some shoveling and snow blowing going on in northwestern Minnesota. Look at these snowfall totals. The highest I saw in Minnesota was in a town uh, in Roseau County called Greenbush. 11 inches of heavy wet snow fell there last night and this morning. National Weather Service in Grand Forks picked up 10 inches, 8 inches in Halleck. The Moorhead area, anywhere from six to eight inches, depending on where you are in town. Six and a half in Pemina. And then you just go down the road a little bit outside of the immediate Red River Valley and Otter Tail only had a half an inch of snow. And then we started to see a little bit of ice accumulation. Let's go down to the Minnesota River Valley, Redwood Falls. Our weather watcher, John Markison, sent us this picture of what looks to be just a very light glaze of freezing rain on some of the branches there. And then this is more significant in Bertha, northwestern Minnesota, three eighths of an inch of ice accumulation accumulation measured by Jason and you can see that it uh, created icicles on what looks to be maybe a, a bird feeder or something. Uh, I tell you there were a few localized power outages in northwestern Minnesota because the extra weight of that ice accretion on some of the tree limbs brought them down which in turn brought down some power lines but we escaped thankfully with very little power outages uh, right now only a few customers in Minnesota are still without power. However we do still have a little more wintry weather to go. In fact the area of interest extends kind of along the I-35 corridor up through the Twin Cities with some heavy snow now in the, the Albert Lee and Owatonna area. Northfield getting what is likely some wet snow. I just saw uh, our chief meteorologist Chris Schaefer send out a video on Twitter of some heavy sleet falling in Woodbury. So that would be more of the purple area in the East Metro and the North Metro up toward Forest Lake, North Branch, New Richmond, Ellsworth, Wisconsin, all getting that heavy sleet right now. The brighter pink from Wabasha to Rochester to St. Charles and Winona, that's more freezing rain, and that's the stuff that builds up and creates a glaze of ice. So the bottom line is still some slick travel over the next few hours from the Twin Cities on east, and even here across the Iron Range, Arrowhead, and north central Minnesota, while it's fairly quiet right now as temperatures cool a bit, Grand Marais still at 37, so what's falling there is rain shower activity. I think we'll see precipitation pick up a little bit there later this afternoon and this evening as well. 27 now in the Twin Cities, maybe a little bit warmer. Probably not much with time this afternoon, and yes, there is a breeze too. Thankfully, it's not that strong, but still wind chills in the single digits across western Minnesota. All right, so here's the forecast for the rest of the afternoon. Notice from about the Twin Cities metro on eastward through mid-afternoon, uh, dealing with a mix of wintry precipitation. It will increase a bit across the arrowhead through the late afternoon into the evening. And then with time, as we head towards sunset, skies will actually start to clear from west to east, and that precipitation will shut down. Additional snow and sleet accumulations in the east metro, maybe a tenth of an inch or so. And then across Wisconsin and northeastern Minnesota, some communities maybe one to three inches of additional snow and ice accumulation overnight tonight. It's going to be cold down to three in Bemidji, 10 in Fargo. Twin Cities not as cold at 24, but that's still below average. And then look at this temperature turnaround tomorrow. This is pretty impressive. Almost 40 degrees warmer by the afternoon under bright sun in Bemidji than during the day. And the Twin Cities will get to 46, not quite average. Our average high is 52. But after we start a bit warmer Sunday morning, we'll get up above average Sunday afternoon. Increasing clouds though Sunday, probably some very late evening sprinkles or some patchy drizzle that will last into Monday. Gen Tuesday will be the warmest day of the year so far, mid 60s to near 70, maybe some thunder showers and then some 50s cooler, but still nice through the middle and end of next week. Looks good ahead. All right, Mike, thank you.